my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Stop being realistic. It's not an intelligent approach because human beings always underestimate what they can do. The brain is notoriously known for its inability to predict anything, right? You always underestimate how long something takes, right? And you always underestimate how much it costs. <laughs> that even though we got like 30, 40 years of experience, the brain still, you know, underestimates everything. Uh, and it also grossly underestima underestimates the, the, what you are actually able to do. And so when we are realistic, we tap right into that stupidity that we're born with, and we assess what we can do in a totally uh, unambitious way. So how are we realistic and why are we realistic? Well, it's just to stay out of pain, right? You want to develop your skills and you're all fired up about it. And then suddenly you realize that you run into frustration to hopelessness. You give up, you want to, and then, you know, you get tired of that, you know, fight. It hurts. So you become realistic. You try to lower your expectations of what you can do. But what also happens when you do that, because this seems like there's nothing wrong with that, right? Then, then you don't have to be frustrated all the time. But what also happens is that your passion goes down, your excitement goes down, because instead of having this grand vision of you being on stage with one foot on the monitor, <laughs> just, you know, <laughs> ripping away some solo and really being totally free, then you can, you know, you lower your expectations because, you know, that might not be possible. And with the, you know, the tempo I've been developing and the time I have available and eh, 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 you make your world smaller. And, you know, how much passion comes from that? That tiny little vision of becoming a little better each day and I might be able to play that solo in a year or, you know, stuff like that. Nobody gets excited about that. So you basically develop a hobby and hobbies don't go anywhere, right? They don't go to the stars or to the moon, but should we then, Klaus, uh, just be, you know, just expect stupid stuff that doesn't happen? No, but you have to, you know, in order for you to break through to what you want, you have to keep that vision going. And then you have to absolutely be totally persistent in your pursuit of how to get there, right? You be creative, you're frustrated because you don't get, you know, um, you don't get uh, progress when you thought you would. But then you must go back and say, okay, how can I progress even faster? What am I doing wrong? Am I not focusing enough? Am I? And I s will tell you any day that 99.9% .9 of everybody who practice, practices guitar, they can improve their practice uh, routines by like a thousand percent overnight by just using a couple of principles that we're talking about in these YouTube videos. So instead of getting realistic, be creative, get creative, right? If you don't have practice time enough, be creative, right? Go ask yourself, you know, write the question on top of a piece of paper, right? And say, okay, how can I get more practice time without, you know, violating other, any of my other commitments? And then keep asking that same question and keep coming up with ideas, keep trying. 
push the boundaries of where you are all the time. If you don't, you just become like a cow in the field, right? You'll just be doing the same things over and over each and every day, getting the same freaking results, uh, never really expanding anywhere. And that's boring. And what do we do about boredom? Well, we start, you know, I've been talking about that before. We should start getting one of these diseases of, you know, we overeat or watch too much TV and, you know, try to make up for that boredom because we don't like the pain and frustration of oh, reaching for something, right? So take the pain. Be a warrior, right? Not a warrior. Be a warrior and then go for it and just take the frustration and get up again. And right, that's what we're made for. We're so comfortable in this world, right? We used to live in absolute uncomfortability every single day. Life used to be so hard, now it's so easy. Use that to take that little bit of frustration, punch through it, drive yourself through it. It's nothing compared to what people have you know, been doing just to get to this level of living standard of the opportunities we have every single day. Right, and we and we we pull back because we get frustrated because we hoped to create something and then it doesn't happen. Push twice as hard, right? Get creative. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.